hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part 5 of our php rest api tutorial and in this video we're, guys we're going to continue working on with our php rest api project and also testing our uh, project so far so i took the liberty of just populating the post table here so you can go ahead and try to download the mysql file in the description box below to save you some time of adding all this unnecessary or i mean adding all this um, records to our database so let's go back to our code editor and let's try to check our project for the last time before we test it in our postman um, software so we have here the read uh, that php file and we have the headers and we initialize our api by using the initialize that php file and of course this initialize that php file uh, include uh, all the core files or core files of our project and then and here we have uh, instantiated the post okay and passing in the database connection and of course in here we have uh, iterated the records coming from our database and displaying it or converting it to json format so now let's try to test this on our postman software so let's go ahead and search for postman and by the way guys this is the software that we're going to use to test our php api and if you have uh, like if you have work in the future that involves api you can use postman to configure your request so this is the postman um, a, uh, postman software that we're going to use this is good for testing an api so let's just try to uh, navigate to our project so localhost php rest and then i think we're using php rest and of course api and then our read.php so php rest api and then read.php and then make sure that it is the the method that we're using is get and then try to send it to our php api so we have here the uh, i think we have some error here so let's try to read it in our yeah so we have an error in our SQL syntax, check the manual, and I think we don't have space here. So let's try to do that. Navigate to our post.php on line 39. So post.php in line 39. So where is it? Ordered by... Oh, so I think we have misspelled or ordered by instead of using ordered it should be order by okay so save this and let's go back to postman and send our request so we have a new error column not found be created in order clause so that's easy because created ads should be created at so there you go send and we have now the result of our php rest api reading and under data we can see all the records coming from our database so as you can see the result of our request is on json format okay so now that we have um read that page p to get all the information or to get all the records from our database so what we want next is to create another uh, read for a single uh, record from our database so, so for example we want to specify a, a certain id of a post and then we should be able to get all the information associated by that particular id so let's go back to our uh, code editor and 
in our post.php file. So right below the public function read and make sure you're still under or inside the post class. So in here, I'm just going to add another function. So public and then function read underscore single. So this will be just uh, getting a single post from our database. So as for the query, so we're just going to almost, uh, we're going to use almost the same query. And then we're just going to change uh, something here. Instead of using order by, so we should remove this because we're only getting a single post. So there's no point of ordering it by the ID or created at uh, attribute. And of course, we want to get a single um, post. So we need to specify that it should be uh, a particular ID and of course we need to limit the return of this uh, query into one because yes we only want to have a single post to be returned and in here we need to prepare also the statement for this particular function so that's prepare statement and in our statement here below, we need to get the actual data coming from our database. So statement and then fetch and then PDO fetch uh, fetch associative array. So and then below here, we need to set the properties of our post so this title will be our row and then of course the return title from our query and then we're going to copy this one two three four okay it should be for our body this one is our author okay and then we also have the category ID, category underscore ID. So copy and paste it here. And then category name. Category name. Okay. So there you go. And we need to bind a parameter for this particular um statement here so where post id equals so instead of um executing it directly we need to bind a param so that's bind parameter and then we're just going to specify the first one and id should be the post ID okay and of course this is binding the param right and the next one is executing the execute the query so that's stmt and then execute okay so stmt execute and then row stmd fetch video fetch assault or associate or associative array so i think that's it for our uh, public function read underscore single and under our api let's just create a new file here so that's um new file and then read single that php what happened there so read single dot php and then we're just going to copy here the uh, read that php file and we're just going to delete 
the content of this below only the header so we're just going to use the same headers access control and of course the content type then we initialize our file and then uh, instantiate a post object and we need to assign the post ID so that's post and then ID equals we're just checking if the get ID is set so return the get ID otherwise exit or die and then post read single so that's the function that we have defined in our read.php file and of course we, we want to create an array of our values so that will be post post just like what we have in our uh, read.php so array and then of course we need to specify also the id okay so post id we're just going to copy this six title of our post the body of our post and of course the author of the post category id okay and then category your name so we're just going to copy this title for this and so this one and also this one and also this one and so with this one and we need to make make a json okay and print r and of course json encode the post array so post array so i think that's it and we can use this in our postman software so let's go ahead and let's try that so i'm just going to copy this and create a new request so this should be api and then read underscore single dot php and then specify the id so for example uh, id3 okay so we have an error so let's try to so we have an error here because we misspelled the fetch so post uh, fetch okay so let's go back to postman and send Category name ID Define property post single single Category name ID Okay Save and again So that's it. We now have the post tree with all the information coming from our database so if we try to go with another one, ID2, so we can get all the information associated with ID number 2. So I think uh, it is a good point to end our video and in the next video we're going to discuss how to create a new record by using our API. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.